Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how I'm going to start this. Um... Tell us about loser fruit. You're going to have to ask her if you want the full story. It's not good enough. I know. Yeah. Fine, I, I, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. So it was, it was just a normal day streaming Fortnite, and I'm, 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 I'm not gonna lie, it's not my best day playing. You don't understand what this win will do to my ego. I need a little bit of an ego boost. I've been feeling a little sad, so we need this. And then I saw a Lachlan skin. I assumed, I assumed the worst. He's a Lachlan skin, I lost my mind. Oh, you're joking, dude, you're joking. As I was saying, before I started making videos, I was at university and I was finishing my degree of journalism and I was learning a lot. I was gonna go places, I swear. You think about gaming, Stormy? Don't eat the mic, Stormy, okay? Don't eat the mic, we can't hear what you're saying. That's one going. Pip, what do you think about the climate of gaming right now? Do you like Fortnite, Pip? Listen to me, I'm a journalist, I, I have a degree. Oh, sorry, we're getting off track here. I'm sorry that my cats are so cute, but uh, we can speed this up. So I was at my mum's house, and you know what? Love my mum, but she had terrible internet. I was lucky enough to get some early support from a few viewers to to be able to afford to move out and take that risk on myself. She wasn't happy about it though, mum. That being said, I did tell her like three days before I moved out. So maybe if I told her, maybe like at least a week before, she might have been a bit happier with it, which is my bad. A bit better with that now, with telling people things. <laughs> at first, I think it was just a lot of League of Legends and a lot of raging and a lot of mumbling to myself and thinking that people can hear. And the Jinx Lord has finally got her fruit back. Woo! At the time, I was kind of like a variety streamer. I wasn't just League, I was doing cooking streams and I was playing other games like Dark Souls. But then there was Overwatch and I thought this was going to be trash because it was so overhyped. Everyone was talking about it, how it was going to be so good. And then I got into it and I started to really like it. I, that's when I started making YouTube videos too. So I made a video about how it was overhyped and then I won't play it. <laughs> I hate Overwatch. Yeah, I got you. I don't know why I made a YouTube video about that because I didn't really understand YouTube back then. So I was just kind of streaming and then making an occasional video. I don't even remember what happens with half of them, but I know if I watched them today, they would still be really funny, <laughs> honestly. It's not like my streams were good anyway, so it's not like we need. It was just a lot of Overwatch, Overwatch, and then Fortnite started to come in the picture and they started sponsoring people. Listen, when I first got sponsored, you know what I said to myself? I said, this is a really good game. I really want to get people in it, okay? I was cooler than everyone. I was first to it, okay? At the beginning of Fortnite, I was I was a great player. Don't listen to literally what anyone says or watch any of the videos when I was early on, but I did shake a lot. I just had these massive earthquakes and I don't have them now. I don't know when they went away. But it's been like since a year since a good earthquake has happened. <laughs> I don't know, I just got really nervous and anxious in the final zone. I was like, I didn't want to stuff up and disappoint people and it would just go like this and then the screen would be crazy. So yeah, that would that would probably be my defining feature. There was one moment where me and Marcus were in the final zone together and we recognized each other's skins. That's him! And we're like, oh my god, <laughs> oh no. No! No! I should have built on you, you little motherfucker! <laughs> I was not a confident player. I'm a lot better now, okay? Fortnite approached me at the same time as probably like Lachlan and Laserbeam. I was like, okay, that's that's really cool. Like being in a game, like the most popular game. That's all right, honestly. <laughs> Look at them thighs! Sorry. <laughs> Look, it's me! <laughs> oh my god, my name pops up in it. Loser fruit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a stupid name. The funny thing is, I actually leaked my own Fortnite skin. Oh, what's this outfit we got going on? Do you like it? Is this something to come? Maybe. 
I think it's pretty cool that someone that has no idea who I am liked the skin, bought it, and, and is like, oh my god, <laughs> it's the loser fruit skin, but has no idea about me. I really like that <laughs> that fact. <laughs> loser fruit! <laughs> Fruity skin is sick. Right. Yeah! yeah! Wait, <laughs> a loser! And a loser fruit! <laughs> You see like Iron Man and uh, all of the superpower superhero people and that's like that's cool to be in the same realm as them But then I saw like, you know, Ariana Grande and I was like, oh, she's like famous famous and she's the only other female icon skin And I was like, damn, okay <laughs> All right, it's just just hanging out with Ariana Grande, but yeah, Iron Man's pretty cool too, you know <laughs> When I started like streaming the one woman I really saw that was doing well was KP from League of Legends And so I was like, you know what? I can do that too <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. It was just, yeah, you're gaming, you seem cool, I can do that too. So I hope to hear that uh, that uh, particularly young girls will be like, oh yeah, she's doing it. There's nothing too special about her. She's just doing it, doing her thing, you know, being herself. You know, I can, I can do it too. Particularly when it comes to being a pro or good at games, to see more girls really dedicate their time to it. It's good to think that I could be a role model to someone out there. This is really interesting, but I thought we were here to talk about what happened with Lachlan. Yeah. See, I was just getting there, okay? I was just getting there. All right, calm down. I was just getting there, okay? I met Lachlan, God, it's gonna be like five years ago, I'd say. It was a dark day, no. Um, we've done a sponsor thing together years ago. Lachlan, what are you, what are you doing there? <laughs> this is the behind the scenes things that you don't see. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not sure if like Lachlan's nervous or something, but he's always really bad when we play. <laughs> Like, I remember whenever we're like trying to film a video, he plays worse. Sorry, Lachlan. <laughs> like, you always die first. I don't know what to say. Maybe if you wouldn't die first, maybe I wouldn't be saying this. Oh, what the? What the? Imagine if you died. <laughs> no! I, oh, no, I won no. first game in my skin. <laughs> But he has the greatest rages, I'll give him that. He has actually better rages than I do and I'm actually kind of jealous, yeah. When he came to me and asked me to join Power, it just seemed, it seemed really exciting. This is actually something really cool that I really wanna see get to the next level. Uh, the three guys are part of Power Create helped me. Actually, yeah, the three of them. You know what, I feel like I brought them together. No, they, uh, <laughs> they uh, built me a map quite a while ago, yeah, Fruitopia map. It was really well done, honestly. I think the biggest draw card to Team Power was just kind of like the group aspect of it, making videos with people. I love group content. I think it's the best content out there. Like everyone's gonna look for gaming groups. Everyone wants to watch something that they want. They wanna see like friendships evolve and games. They wanna see competitive sides between their favorite creators. And that's what I really wanted to get in on. Honestly, just being a part of something was a huge reason as to why I wanted to join Power. I think like the dream uh, for me in like the future, for like the most immediate years is to really just make the most of now. I think there's so many cool creators out there and I'm, I just wanna see like everyone like grow around me and I want to just, I just wanna have a good time. <laughs> I just wanna make really fun videos. You know, particularly after lockdown, you just wanna, you just wanna kinda get out there and make great videos and you wanna travel and see people and you just really wanna make the most of the best years of your life. So I think that's the most immediate thing. Yeah, I've always liked that phrase of you only need like, I don't know what it is, like a hundred loyal people to support you to really like get any business going. It might be like 50 loyal people, 100 people. I don't know what the, I don't know what the exact number, but you just need like only like a handful of loyal people to support you and you can really get wherever you want to in life. And I was really supported by it, just the people who were there at the beginning and who have stayed for a while, honestly. <laughs> they, there's a lot of them are still around. The thing is anything is possible. I couldn't, I do, wouldn't want to limit myself. And I just see people making new things and breaking new records like every day and they're always like topping themselves. So I just don't see, I don't see any limits. I got the My name's Kathleen, AKA Loser Fruit, and I'm joining Team Power. <clears throat> hi, I'm Kathleen. Wait, hi. Sorry. My name's Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Kathleen, AKA Loser Fruit, and I'm joining Power. Yeah. My name is Lachlan. <laughs> Power mode activated. <laughs>